When a mother and daughter decided to book a hotel for a holiday in Skegness, they got a little more excitement than they bargained for. The Grand Hotel had made the mistake of allowing paying guests to stay in the same building that was housing illegal immigrants. Lynn and her daughter told reporter Steve Laws that they weren't told the hotel was housing migrants when they made the booking. You can probably guess what happens next. All night she heard banging, shouting, and the sound of people running up and down the corridors. They tried to complain and the staff were completely AWOL. Second night, people banging around, running up down the hallway, screaming and shouting. They likened the noise to furniture being thrown around the room. Lynn's daughter told me the occupants were all young males and they were absolutely terrified to the extent they considered phoning the police. They called it the Hotel From Hell. Yeah, sounds like it's got problems that even Gordon Ramsay couldn't fix. It's a mess. But I'll tell you what, I simply don't believe it. The media keeps telling me so many of these migrants are women and children. And why would they lie? And the footage proves it. Take this example of migrants recently arriving in Spain. can barely move for women and children. And besides, the hotel put it all right for Lynn and her daughter by giving them a refund of 5%. Recent reviews on TripAdvisor for the hotel are, if anything, even worse. The hotel is filthy, no staff available, noise from other occupants, atrocious, the smell of drugs, ripe. This is the worst place I've ever stayed in my life. Avoid this joke hotel like the plague. Now take what happened in that one hotel. And imagine the hotel is the entire country. Houston, we have a problem. The UK is spending six million pounds a day of taxpayer money to house illegal boat migrants up and down the nation. Upon arrival, not only do they get free accommodation, they get free healthcare and free prepaid debit cards. And our government wonders why they keep coming in droves. Then when they get all this free stuff, they're not even grateful. Just last month, 20 asylum seekers were given rooms at the Comfort Inn in Pimlico, central London. But then immediately started whinging about bunk beds and having to stay four to a room. After the migrants staged a protest, the hotel came in and gave them what they wanted. Others have complained about the Wi-Fi and the quality of free food they're being served. Because if you were a genuine refugee fleeing war and oppression and not an economic migrant, which is totally not what these people are, I'm sure your main gripe would be about the internet connection speed, right? <laughs> Get early access to videos, exclusive live streams, and personally DM me. You've seen how much I get demonetized all the time. Well, this is how you support me. By subscribing at pauljosephwatson.locals.com. Please click the link in the description.